What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi at their brand new location. So this used to be Bishop RV and they were bought out by Colonia Del Rey. All new management, all new sales reps. This is just a huge lot now. They got inventory everywhere. And if there's one thing I know about the folks at Colonia Del Rey is they've always really given great pricing on their units. So this is one of those dealerships that I go to and I'm always happy with the sale price versus the MSRP that I see. So if you're looking for an RV and you're anywhere near Corpus Christi, Texas, this is one you definitely would wanna pay attention to and stop at. Anyways, today's unit we're gonna look at is this Palomino Solair. This is one of the longest Palomino Solairs I've seen. Very cool RV, a lot of really great upgrades that you don't typically see on travel trailers. I think you're gonna like this one. Hang tight, I'll be right back. As always, before we go any further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this Solair is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,765 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 1,130 pounds, and it's gonna ride on twin 3,500 pound axles. So for the size of this unit, it's actually relatively light. Now this is definitely not what I would consider to be half ton towable. So I would highly recommend getting a three quarter ton or greater if you're gonna tow something like this. You have another sticker here, which is really nice. Forest River puts this on pretty much all their units. This has a dry weight of 6,597 pounds and it's 32 foot eight inches long as manufactured. I always like how they put this kind of bed lining material on the front. You can see where it's line x And this is really, really good because a lot of times rocks and debris fly up from underneath the truck, hit the front of your RV and cause pitting, damage, and cracks. And this is just really one good way to protect from that happening as often. Coming down the side, we're gonna step inside of this 258 RBSS Palomino Solair. All right, so right off the bat, let's look at a few stickers here. Alpha roofing, nitrogen filled tires, nothing super special there. Forest River product. Okay, as we step inside, let's pan around slowly so you can see what's going on here. Has a large slide here, but it's the only slide on this unit. And this is a rear bathroom unit. So we'll start from the back and work our way up front. You have a interestingly compact little medicine cabinet right here. Nice solid surface countertop with a, feels like a plastic, but it's a very high gloss plastic sink. Over here, a lot of pantry space, or at least wardrobe space for toiletries, things like that, and it's very deep. Almost feel as if they could have put a door on the outside back and split this in half and given you a spot for some things outside. What's your take on that? A lot of leg room in here. I mean, a tremendous amount of leg room. And that is a porcelain foot flush toilet. Check out that space. I guess this would be a really good spot for comforters, pillows, things like that. The extra stuff that you might need for extra guests whenever you're traveling. Nice electric fan up top. Very, very good size shower stall. It's extremely good, especially for a travel trailer, especially for a travel trailer that's relatively light. You know, this is definitely larger than what you would see in most of your travel trailers. Underneath here, a lot of room there as well. Lots of drawers in the bathroom. This is a very, very well laid out bathroom. If you're looking for a unit that just gives you tons and tons of bathroom space, this is it. Behind the TV here, you got pantry space or closet space. You can take these out and you see you have a hanging rod up top. Your control panel right here, thermostat, and this has a GE air conditioning unit. More storage under here. And you have another pantry area right here as well behind the bathroom door. Again, nice large super slide. So this is a full depth slide as well. You have your theater seating right here, booth style dinette right here, which does convert into a bed with storage underneath each seating area. Let's take a look at the price real quick. So 
This has an MSRP of $51,051.10 and a sale price of $42,484. Coming back this way, looks to be about a 40 inch TV. You have some cabinetry above it, nice storage area here. This is also a place that a fireplace might normally go. And you have power off to the side right there, plus you have a nice little area for storage here and your Furion Entertainment Center. You have an Everchill 12 volt refrigerator, becoming very, very popular in travel trailers and even some fifth wheels. You have your Greystone compact microwave. Then you have your stove and oven right here, three burner graystone. This is going to be your breakers, fuses, all of that. Nice solid surface countertop wraps around and you have a really nice stainless steel straining rack here. More drawers in the kitchen area. And a very large cabinet right here. Just a little bit of plumbing that might interfere slightly, but you have a lot of room for cleaners and other supplies right there for sure. You have a, actually, Nice textured backsplash here. It's not just wallpaper. It definitely has some structure to it. And then you have a second thermostat. So this unit's gonna have one GE air conditioning unit right there, which is ducted, and a second unit right here. It does have a front windshield, 50 amp cord laid out on the bed. King size bed, which means this unit is slightly wider than a lot of travel trailers its size. Nice blackout blinds, nice valances as well. Now you don't have a tremendous amount of room to move around the bed, but you do have, I'm gonna say about eight inches right here and about 10 inches right there. And then you have your wardrobe storage on each side, plus some areas to plug your phones in. And you have a little bit of a shelf right there, right below the window where you can set your things, which is really nice and convenient. Very cool unit. Anyways, let's step outside and take a look at the outside. All right, starting from the front, working our way back, you have an electric front tongue jack. You have a spot for two 20 pound propane cans. Here's your front pass through storage right here. Nice thick, heavy baggage doors. So this is not a pass through storage, but it is a very large storage area nonetheless. Nice slam latch. These are electric stabilizer jacks controlled right there. Good size awning that runs about 80%, maybe 70% the length of this unit. Frameless windows as well. You have some outside speakers right here that are controlled from the inside entertainment center. Then you have a spot to actually remove your TV and hang it out here if you wanna watch the game or something like that outside, plus your power and your cable connection. This runs Castle Rock ST tires. Uh, not a huge fan of them. I definitely recommend upgrading after a few thousand miles. Aluminum wheels, and this rides on a torsion style suspension. So this is not traditional leaf sprung suspension. So that is really nice. So. You know, what you get in terms of suspension upgrades kind of make up for the fact that you have tires that I don't really care for, but I would definitely upgrade your tires. You can see right there, Dexter Torflex. This does have the tire pressure monitoring system on board as well. This has the Moride step above fold out steps. And right here, with this incredibly thick door that provides you some sun protection as well as rain protection, you have a huge outside kitchen. Induction style cooktop, so that's really cool. You have an induction cooktop out in the kitchen. It's one of the first I've seen like that. Nice little prep area, your sink, compact R-Vision refrigerator, little drawer for utensils. This is a really nice outside kitchen. Very impressed by it actually. And this thing is incredibly robust. You have your electric controls for your stabilizer jacks here in the back as well. You have a tubular square four inch bumper in the back as well that you can put your sewer hose in. Plus it has a two inch receiver on the back. This is not for towing. This is gonna be designed for accessory racks, things like that. You have a full walk on roof, all LED lighting along with a Prep for a Furion wireless backup camera. You have your spare tire mounted off of the bumper. Coming around this side. Very cool little storage area. Here's one of your plumbing vents, kind of in an interesting location. Nice slam latch there as well. 
This is designed for solar prep. So you can attach a solar panel system out here to your unit. 50 amp connection here, plus it has an outside light which illuminates this area whenever you're connecting at night, which I can really appreciate. You can see that suspension down there, as well as your rack and pinion slide. There's only one slide. I like the high gloss finish that you see on a lot of Palomino products. On this side, outside of your water heater. And you have a very fifth wheel style wet bay here. So you have the Nautilus panel, outside shower, power disconnect, as well as your city water connection, black tank flush, and all of your valves to change how the plumbing operates. On a nice thick heavy baggage door with a slam latch. Very cool unit. I'd love to know what you guys think about it. This is certainly something, again, if you have a three quarter ton truck and you're looking for something that's not too large, relatively light, but with a lot of amenities and upgrades, this is something you might want to take a look at. Things I like about this unit are like the Torflex suspension, electric stabilization. Um, it's got some pretty cool perks. Anyways, again, leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.